for both of you guys. Uh, I think you had one assist in the fourth quarter. Why were you guys so stagnant uh, in that fourth quarter? Um, I think we just uh, got a little rushed. Um, I think some of the mix-ups we had on defense affected our our energy on the offensive end. And I mean, credit to them. They, they we know they're doing a lot of switching and trying to force us into you know one-on-one type situations, but. Um, that's no excuse to not get the ball moving. Um, trusting, you know, what we what we do best, and you know, whether it's the first quarter, second quarter, you know, or crunch time in the fourth, we got to be us, and um, you know, that's going to be the adjustment for Game Five. Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle for both you guys. Were you feeling exhausted in the in the fourth quarter? I mean, that seems to be the theme. And also, Steve said he thought uh, that. Blowing the twelve to nothing lead, not capitalizing on that, was really maybe the key part of the game. Would you agree? Um, I mean, when you give yourself a a lead like that, it, it would help to to sustain it and um, you know try to make the game as easy as possible early. We we played really well in that first you know six seven minutes and made it tough on them. But they're a great team, so it, whether you know, you, you extend the lead or not, it's a 48 minute game and you know, we have plenty of chances to come down the stretch and, and win the game. So um, not not a uh, ideal situation after, you know, the way we started, but um, like like the fight that we that we showed and you know, fatigue is not an excuse for any either either side. So that'll never creep creep in your, your, your mind. Al Sarasovic, San Francisco Chronicle here, uh, for either one of you or both. Um, it, uh, would you say this was a lot more physical game than the previous three in the series? Do you think that was a conscious strategy um, on Houston's part? And what do you do to combat that in game five? Uh, I think it was, it's been physical um, every game. Um, they made timely shots in the fourth. You know, Eric Gordon hit the big three to put him up five. I think that gave him a nice cushion. And, um, you know, we had chances to, you know, win this basketball game. Uh, but you got to tip your head to Houston that came out and did this and took a game on the road. And uh, we just got to regroup and be better next game. Chris Hangs, ESPN. Kevin, on uh, that, that last offensive possession, uh, when you passed to Clay, what, what, can you break down that possession? And secondly, were you looking for a reset, possibly getting the ball back? Uh, I raced it down. I was trying to see if I had some options. I seen Clay running along the baseline. and. I, um, Maybe should have waited till he set his feet, but I just do a bounce pass and uh, try to relocate for it. Uh, but man, that's not the reason why we lost the game. I mean, I wish I wish uh, could have been a better possession at the end, but uh, you know we gotta live with that and move on and, and be better next game. But you know it's the it's the whole game that we got to get better at, and especially in the fourth. I think going up ten, going to the fourth, it was a good opportunity for us to kind of take control and. Uh, we didn't, so I wish, wish, definitely wish I got uh, had that last play back. So I'm gonna watch film and see see what my options were, and just hopefully, uh, if I'm not in that position again, um, you know, I'll be better. Steph, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Also on that possession that Kevin's talking about, Steve was in here saying that Draymond was trying to get the ref's attention because he saw it breaking down. Can you explain what was going on in that possession? Why it it didn't work? and whether you needed the timeout. And secondly, when you got the ball in your hands at the very last five-tenths of a second, what what did you see there, and did you think you got it off, et cetera? I mean, like Kay said, it's a kind of a scramble play. You get a stop. We've been in that situation plenty of times, regular season playoffs, where you don't call a timeout because you got flow, and uh, usually something materializes and you get a good shot. Um, once we came down, like Kay said, you know, made a read, threw it to Clay. I heard Draymond yelling for a timeout. Um, Clay thought he could get a shot off. It's basketball. There's so many bang bang plays, you know, night in, night out. You can't really second guess anything about it. Um, yeah, we, we would like to have maybe had to get a timeout with four seconds left, but it didn't happen. Um, and, you know, the last play actually got a decent look. Um, I think maybe in my head I was thinking five tenths. You don't know how long you can catch, turn, do that whole thing. So maybe rush it a little bit, but uh, decent look. Uh, but you wish the game didn't come down to that uh, to try to extend it. But uh, you know, we, 
we know how to we know how to correct and get back to who we are. Owen with us, KPIX. No Andre tonight, and Clay had to leave the game briefly. How much did that mess up the flow and the rotation of the team throughout the game? I mean, it changed it, but like we, Dre's a huge part of what we do, and he helps us have that versatility. Um, you know, we're trying to fill different spots throughout the course of the game, and you know, you love to have him out there, but uh, it's a long series, and you want him healthy, uh, able to really make an impact when he's out there. Uh, so hopefully that's that happens in game five. But um, you look at how the game, you know, went. We were in deep, pretty good shape for 44 minutes um, with a chance to 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 win and take really control of the series, but it didn't happen. And, uh, now we got to fight and um, really understand this is a, a true playoff type experience, and uh, it's not going to be easy against a great team like Houston. So we uh, we're up for it though. Last two questions. Steph, uh, Mark Medina, Bay Area News Group. What was your read on just the contrast with your third and fourth quarter, just in terms of the shots falling down? Uh, I just missed shots. I had a wide open one on the right wing, in and out. Um, early in the fourth, got a little rush. Um, got a shot blocked and missed a layup. Um, I mean, I can sit here and nitpick all all you want. I had some decent looks that didn't, didn't go down, but that's not why we lost. So um, just keep being aggressive like we were the whole game, and um, more so just try to be more uh, assertive when it comes to what we want to get out of each possession down the stretch in the last six minutes. And uh, we can be a lot better at that, and we will be. So it's 0-0 zero, zero now, and home court's back in Houston's hands. I'm Julianne Cron for News, and um, this question's for either of you. Um, now that home court advantage is back in Houston's hands, um, how do you approach um, the rest of the series? And is the mindset different going into Houston now as opposed to as if you had the 3-1 lead? Uh, I don't think the uh, mindset is any different. We we went in game one and took care of business, uh, so we know what it's like to win on that that in that arena. Um, and we uh, we should be ready to go to reset, um, put together a pretty solid 48 minute game, and and steal one down there. So uh, it would be nice if it was a close out game, but it's not. And now. Uh, we can regain control of the series if we go down there and play uh, a complete game. And we've shown we can do it before. And um, I think the, the the vibe in the locker room is really positive right now when it comes to uh, what we need to correct when it comes to you know winning game five.